lesson uh, to compensate for the last one which it was a bit too long I need to judge how long it would take so in this lesson we are going to as I said in the last lesson uh, learn how we can instead of showing the phone number we are going to uh, learn how we can show uh, the name of the user and the name will be the name that the user has in the WhatsApp if it is different from the phone number so if the user has changed his name then we'll uh, show the name that the user has in the WhatsApp project otherwise we will just show the the name that the user has on the contact list of the user that of the user's phone uh, that is currently using right now so that will be really simple and for that, we are going to go inside the find user activity uh, dot Java, and we are going to scroll down to get user details. Okay, and this is basically just a loop that we need, and yeah, we'll go from there. So let's say if name dot equals to phone, that means that the user still has the default name. Then we are going to loop through the contact list and try to find um, the contact that has a specific phone number. As simple as that. So I'm going to create the object before this, so in here. And now I'm going to say for user object and contact its iterator two points contact list this will simply loop through uh, the contact list okay it is a much nicer way instead of doing for int i equals to something to int i int in equals to another thing uh, this looks much cleaner and looks far better in my opinion because in here we get the object directly okay now we simply say if m contact iterator dot get phone dot equals to m user phone m user dot get phone uh, m user dot get phone exactly um, or better yet yeah we can use that we could use just phone because we already create, created the object okay let's use it like this so that it is much easier for you to understand then if um, this contact iterator got get phone equals to this then we are going to change the object to um, the new name that the user already had in the contact list. The problem is we don't have setters in the user object. We only have getters. So we must change that. Let's go into the user object. I'm going to make this bigger. And in the user object, I'm simply going to create a setter for the phone, for the name better yet. I'm sorry. So you can simply start typing set name and it will create it for you because that's the, this is a normal thing that you do with objects so we say muser.setName and contact iterator dot get name and this will set the this user's name to wherever uh, the current user has on his phone okay that's as easy as that we don't need to do anything else i'm going to remove these brackets right here and yeah apart from that it is doing what it should be doing i believe so um, yeah uh okay 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 yeah let's just run the app and see if everything checks out okay so i've run the app and i found one small mistake that we carried over from the last lesson in here uh, it used to be phone but obviously it was meant to be name but yeah so now when we launch the app these appear so test one test two with the phone number below and yeah that's exactly what we wanted 
so um, yeah basically there's nothing else left to do uh, as you can see test one we it is the, what we have in here test one test two test three and even though in the um, let me just grab it even though in the um, database the name is the number the phone number in our app the name that we have on our contact list appears so yeah that this was a really simple lesson we i just wanted to to finish off the um, the find user activity for sure in the next lesson we'll start working on the chat activity and uh, all the messaging system so yeah it will be it will be fun and we'll implement not every detail of the whatsapp app, obviously because it is a massive app but the great majority and the important stuff will be available so yeah thank you all very much for watching i hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao